But this right here is your J. Cole apologizing for a dissing Kendrick Lamar. Now, if Drake is watching this somewhere, I know Drake is like, nigga, this is the nigga we supposed to be beefing with. And you sitting here apologizing to the fucking ops? What? First person shooter don't even hit the fucking same no more. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like... At the same time, though, bro, I understand where J. Cole come from. He trying to set an example for the kids. He just did the All My, Li All My Life song. So, you know, I get what he's saying, bro. But y'all guys weren't really in no street beefs or nothing. But this was rap, hip-hop beef. Why would you apologize and fuck the whole damn thing up, bro? Come on, man. Let's get into the fucking clip, bro. In my spirit of trying to, like, get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that Damn. shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever touched a fucking microphone? Damn, man. y'all love Kendrick real. Lamar, correct? That's real, man. As do I. So, I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God aligned me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm gonna take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, Drinking forgive a nigga out. for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I want to now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all right now. In my spirit. So, man, I'm not bad at J. Cole for what he said, bro. Or, you know, how he had the situation. But what was the deeper you putting out a goddamn diss for? If, you know, your ass is going to sit up there and redig it. You know what I'm saying? You can't redig a diss, my boy. You know what I'm saying? You can't redig a diss, man. That ain't how hip hop works. You were supposed to do your diss, and here we go now. We're supposed to be waiting on goddamn Kendrick Lamar to come back with his. You know what I'm saying? You done fucked it up now. Now you got to put your apology in the diss song. That shit gonna be funny as hell to me, boy. If these niggas put his apology in the diss song, boy, I am dying laughing, chat. I'm telling you, because he had no business in the first place apologizing. Don't make no damn sense, bro. Name one rapper in hip-hop that has made a diss and apologized afterwards without any type of threats towards him. Come on, bro. I understand y'all friends and shit. Yeah, y'all grew up in the hip-hop industry, but let the rap beef be the rap beef, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can handle the peace afterwards. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Let's go ahead and move on, bro. Cause